Hey everybody, something a little bit different this time around. Ford invited me to the Nevada Off-Rodeo Bronco site and promised me something very exciting. And I figured that it's gonna be the Bronco Raptor. It's not, but it is very cool. They began with a little bit of heritage. Rod Hall and Larry Miner won the overall Baja 1000 in the stock Bronco in 1969. Remember, Bronco does go way back and Ford was happy to show off some of the race prep versions of the modern Bronco. The trucks just kept coming and none of us really knew why Ford had brought us to the Bronco off-rodeo site. This is about an hour outside of Las Vegas and if you buy a Bronco two or four door or a Bronco Sport Badlands, you get to come here or one of the other off-rodeo sites and skilled drivers will show you how to get the most out of your machine. Uh, maybe you can graduate to one of these. That's all very cool and it proves how pumped Ford is to get Bronco out to compete, but nothing says that more than the main event. What we wanted to do is bring a production Bronco that is the first of its kind, turnkey racer that you can buy, put some decals on it, put a race number on it, take it to the Baja 1000 and race. So what I'd like to introduce is a turnkey Bronco racer, desert racer. It's a 2023 Ford Bronco DR. Listen to that, that sounds great. So obviously that is a V8, it's a five liter Coyote V8. So large tires and wheels, large, large travel on the suspension. So this is different and, and the difference is all this racing that we've done in these other classes is more about learning and factory support. What makes this different is this will be a production vehicle that you can buy and you can compete in. Instead of me blathering on and on, I'm just gonna let the press conference run. That way you feel like you're actually here a little service I provide. So we will, this will be racing in 2022, uh, where Bronco should be racing in the desert, uh, in the Baja 1000. So we're very excited about that. And then it will, we'll be taking orders in late 2022. There will be a limited production run of 50 of these units that people can sign up and, and order and build as a 2023 Ford Bronco DR. So let me talk about it a little bit so you know exactly what it is. Um, some of the, the bones of the vehicle. It's, this starts life as a four door Bronco, even though it's only a two door here, actually a no door, looks like a two door. Um, but it's got a four, a four door frame underneath it and a four door body structure. Um, that's important for the strength and durability that we, we know is in this platform. Then we add to it, in order to be racing, you need a safety cage. So our partner for building this truck, Multimatic, we use their FEA tools and optimized safety cage. And what's the innovation here is the Acro tubes that are part of the, the frame and structure for the production truck are integrated directly with a safety cage so that you get a weight efficient, but still very safe, very durable cage. So that is important for us. Let me talk about the powertrain. You've heard it. This is a production Gen 3 5 liter Coyote V8. Lots of power available from that. In this installation, we obviously have a custom intake system, um, custom exhaust system, so there's custom calibration that goes through that to optimize it. A lot of power there, so we're gonna generate a lot of heat. It's a desert racer, so we've gotta pull the radiators up here to protect it from the dirt and the sand. And Paul will tell you these look great, and he's probably right, they do look great, but they're also very functional for getting a lot of air in there, keeping everything cool. So all that power then goes through a Ford 10-speed automatic transmission, goes out to the differentials. It's an independently electronically controlled front and rear locking differential, 4.7 to 1 ratio. Um, as you see with the extra travel and with the extra torque available, we've got uh, RCV half shafts in the front of this so that we have extra torque capacity and articulation available for that. So great powertrain, really excited about that. And then for the suspension, again, uh, Multimatic as our partner with this uh, travel that we've got in the suspension. It's more than 50% increase in travel relative to the Bronco Badlands that we would buy. Um, and we've got some new dampers on here. They're Multimatic position selective 
dampers in the front with lots of travel, lots of control. So really excited about what we're gonna be able to do with that and the control for tuning it and adjusting it during the race. Uh, there's a billet, uh, lower control arm, machine from aluminum billet, uh, great strength there, great design properties. And then we have the, the uh, BF Goodrich tires, 37 inches. It's a mud terrain KM3 tire. So we've got the right tire to go desert racing. We've got the right suspension, the right powertrain, we think. So we're excited about this, excited to get it out, uh, have people see it. Um, and I think, I think it looks great. Now behind you, you'll see some of the very first sketches that the team put together. Um, I'm really proud of my team and how quickly they can zero in on stuff that's so cool and exciting. They're in a zone all the time. And we took from those sketches the first ideas and we poured them into the second board that will be that's on my left over here. And you look at that later on. And with that in mind and using our typical Ford Bronco unusual design process, uh, we skipped the clay models. We didn't do any of that stuff. We went straight into fast CAD. A lot of digital reviews, a lot of virtual reality. And with that data finished, it was off to be made. And this is what we made. So uh, let me just talk you through what we think makes it a Bronco still. We've got that single piece grill, just like, uh, just like forever. And inside that single piece grill, it's a new design. It's much more open for cooling. Um, it's got the production vehicle headlights. Um, below that, we've got a new race ready uh, tubular steel bumper that's mounted to the Bronco chassis frame. Above that, we've got our trail sights from the production vehicle, but beyond that, we've got this super powerful uh, 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 hood, new design, with the uh, air vents to allow all the heat out of the away from the V8. And that form factor penetrates through where the windshield would have been into the cockpit, where we've got a replica of the Bronco instrument panel. On the end of it, there are production vehicle grab handles just here. Then as you look at the body side, you may well be able to tell that it looks, it's really inspired by the Bronco R race prototype. We've got big tires on this vehicle, we need the clearance. Now there are no doors, so the crews are gonna to have to scramble in where the windows would have been uh, into the vehicle. And then around the back, when you get time to look at it, you'll notice that we've got the production tail lights as well. The swing gate's gone, it's just a spare tire and an exoskeleton. All very, very optimized for racing. And above the belt line, I think it's just two things. It's all about cooling, because the cooling packs are behind the, uh, the occupants. And the second thing is just basically Max and Mawson. We just loved the look of this stuff. It's ex appropriately extreme. Now, I think this, this really captures the essence of what a racing Bronco should be. But another aspect of, another as essence of what Bronco is all about for me is, is stories. And so I'm going to just talk a little bit about the livery, the way that we've dressed this, this monster. Um, we, uh, at the front of the vehicle, our livery is black, white, and red. And you'll see that on Rod's truck, the first truck to arrive here today. So we start off at the beginning of our story with our livery, with a reference to the past. But as we move down the body side, you'll begin to see other things happen. We, re we introduce the um, current bucking Bronco on the side there. And you'll notice it sits over chevrons and arrows. They're all about progress and movement. And, it, and it's an accelerating progress as we introduce more of those chevrons. As we get to the back and the final part of that story is the black area. This is the void. This is the future. This is the unknown. This is a developing story. The only thing that sits in it is the stars and stripes. So overall, we're super happy with this vehicle. We think it looks really strong. This is production. We're not wasting time. We want to get this in, into people's hands and go have fun. So there's also, you may have seen, uh, while you've been standing here, Jim Farley had tweeted uh, a little teaser video. That's out there as well, announcing Bronco DR as a name. Thank you for being here. We really appreciate it. It's an exciting week for us. We hope that this is exciting to you. And uh, thanks. Well, there you go. That's your first look at the Ford Bronco BR. You may never see one of these in person. Definitely not at the Safeway parking lot because, duh, they're for off-road use only. And I asked about the 50 copies, whether it was annually or total, and Ford was a little coy, so we'll see. Now, remember, every Tuesday, I usually do a car review. Check out my channel and subscribe. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.